بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن يعلم القرآن قلك الإنسان علمه البيان والشمس والكمر بحسبان والنجم والسجار يسجدان والسماء رفع حوى وضع المجان أولا تتقوا في المجان وقيم الوزن بالقسط ولا تقصر المجان والأرض وضع للعنم فيها فاكهة والنخل جت أكمم والحب ذو الأصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تقذبا صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم to all my spectators and viewers first of all take my hearty love and warm receptions and then I again greet all of my viewers with the Islamic salutation Assalamu Alaikum Rabbi Israhli Shaddi wa Sirli Amri Ahlu Lugdatum Mil Lishani Yafkahu Kawli Today is my subject of lecture is about the founder of Islam. The topic is very significant and pragmatic. Who is the founder of Islam? The question is very simple, but the answer is very simple. But our conception, most of the people's conceptions concerning this question and answer is not similar but dissimilar. Some says that Prophet Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the founder of Islam. But most of the Muslim believes it. The founder of Christianity, Jesus Christ or Isa alayhi wasallam, most of the Christian believes it. The founder of Judaism, most of the Yehudis believe that Moses is the founder of Judaism. That is the misconception concerning the founder of Islam. If you look upon the semantic discussions of the word ISLAM, that means I stands for I, A stands for surrender, I surrender to the law of, L stands for law, Al Allah and Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The Holy Quran, the Holy Bible, the Jenda Vesta, these are the Holy Books. Bible means Injil. Injil is the book of Almighty God or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is a lot of similarity between the Bible and the Holy Quran. The Holy Bible describes that Hazrat Adam or Prophet Adam is the father of human beings. And the same verse is also repeated in the Holy Quran, the Adam is the propounder of humanity. 
is the propounder of mankind. He is the, he is the first established, he is the first person of human beings. So Adam is called the father of nation. There is no dichotomy concerning the Holy Bible and the concerning the Holy Quran. There is no difference between the two books. And the question arising here is that what is the religion of Adam? That is igniting question. But our concept, our opinion may differ or we can support the opinion. But the fact is that the religion of Prophet Adam, the father of human beings, the father of mankind, is Islam. Because Islam means submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or God. When a man enters into the directory of Islam, he has no entity. He has no personal will. Each and every will be directed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala each and every minutes of his or her life. That is called Islam. The Adam, the father of mankind, he also sub, he also submits to himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and after Adam the prophets who have who had come in this mundane world their only work is to their, their only work is to to submit submission so though the person the prophet the man who is on the way of submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his or her religion is Islam for example if I analyze if you want to analyze it the Sulaiman Sallam, he also in the way of submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so his religion is Islam Dawud Sallam, in the Bible which is called David in the Holy Quran it is called Dawud Sallam. He, is, he is a prophet in Bible he is called Sulaiman in the Holy Quran the same person is called Sulaiman Sallam. He was a prophet. He, sub, he is in the way of submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surrounding his life. All the prophets from Adam to Prophet Muhammad Sallam. Just for, for another example is that Moses in Bible who is called Moses in the Holy Quran he is called Musa the person is the same and Musa is on the way of submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the submission is the only identity of the prophet or of, of the religion all the prophets their identity is about in the way of submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where there is submission, the religion is Islam. That is, I surrender to the law of Allah and Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Hazrat Adam, his religion is Islam. Dawud Alaihi Sallam or David, his religion is Islam. Sulaiman Alaihi Sallam, his religion is Islam. Yaqub Alaihi Sallam, his religion 
इस्लाम मुजेस और मुसालाम हिज रिलीजियन इस्लाम नू अलाम हिज रिलीजियन इस्लाम एंड जसस क्राइस्ट और ईसाम हिज रिलीजियन इस्लाम एंड द लास्ट प्रोफेट फ्रॉम एडम टू जसस टू प्रोफेट मोहम्मद इज द लास्ट मैसेंजर ऑफ अल्लाह सुबहन तला is the last prophet of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his religion is islam because all the prophets all the messengers who has come from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from adam to hazrat nabi muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam their only way is to bid the human beings to the way of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or god there is only way they preach that there is nothing except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you the human beings you will worship to him it is the fundamental preaching it is the fundamental teaching of all the prophets from adam to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that is why all the prophets religion is islam the parameter is submission and the holy quran dictates bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa khatibun nabiy that is the prophets door of prophets has been closed after that no prophet will come in this materialistic world if someone claims that i am a prophet if someone claims till the day of judgment he he is or he must be a satan or belzebub he must be a devil and there are lots of people they also claim after prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that they are prophet as we know that qadiani sect gola muhammad murtaza qadiani in the province of punjab in undivided india he also told that i have come in this mundane world to complete the incomplete work of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that is his logic and the, it is against the perception and conception of the holy quran because the holy quran dictates in surah baqara ayat number 1 that bismillahir rahmanir rahim alif lam mim zalikal kitabu la raiba fiha hudal lil muttaqin it is this book where there is no doubt there is not an out or an iota of doubtness or mistake in on that book the book which is coming from lohe mafus to this mundane world and the holy quran dictates the prophet muhammad is the last prophet and the door of prophet has been closed wa khatib in nabi so concerning this lecture it one point is evident that prophet muhammad is not the founder of islam the founder of islam is prophet adam the father of nation father of mankind and prophet muhammad is the last and ultimate prophet who complete who has completed the directory of islam the structure of islam the form of islam most of the muslim imagines or believe that prophet hazrat nabi muhammad rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the founder of islam it is saint person wrong so i appeal to my lecture to the people of this surrounding world to consider my lecture in the light of the religious scripture of all religious scripture there is only one religion in the world the name of the religion is islam 
from Adam to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu it is said to the Holy Scripture. And if someone asks this question that how can I believe that Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger? Now I also tell to you with the reference from the previous religious scripture of the Injil or Bible, Old Testament and New Testament, the Taurut. In Torah, the religious scripture and authentic book of Yehudi sect or Yehudi religion, the follower of Moses or Musa Sallam, there is mentioned about the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, Torah or Torch proved that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu will come and he is the last messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the last prophet. The Bible dictates that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu will come. I am referring the quotation in English versions from the Bible. The disciple of Prophet Jesus or Isa alayhi sallam a disciple asks a question O Lord Jesus please tell us after your death who will teach us who will drive us Jesus or Isa alayhi sallam said that if you love me and keep my commandments I will pray to the faith of father who will give you another comforter who will drive you forever that is the quotation from the Holy Bible after Jesus Prophet Muhammad sallallahu has come in this mundane world. So, according to the Holy Bible, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is the last and final messenger. And the Holy Book, the Holy Quran, the Furqan, is the last and ultimatum book of the surrounding humanity. In the Holy Quran, there is not mentioned a single word about the Muslim community. It said, O oh, the human beings, Ya Yuvannas, O the human beings. That is the quotation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the people of the mankind. So, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is the last messenger and ultimate messenger. It is proved logically. That is why the sub propounder of Islam is Hazrat Adam Sallam. It is proved through my lecture and his religion is Islam and all the prophets religion is Islam and Prophet Muhammad Sallam is the last messenger and his religion is also Islam. So it is also clear as delight that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is not the founder of Islam. He is the last messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he also followed the direction of Islam. That is, that's my lecture. So our misconception concerning the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and the founder of Islam he is not Prophet Muhammad sallallahu He is a part and final part. He is the last messenger. Okay, my viewers, I am ending my lecture. Assalamu alaikum wa ma alayna illa al-balag.